Gather around, muggles, gather around. I've got some magic to teach you lot. I'm going to drop some knowledge on you, man. When my dad died, I would, I was saying that I was going to go and see him for a very long time, and we hadn't seen each other for a while. And when he died, I felt there was a lot of wasted time, and just something came out of me, and I thought, I got, I'm going to do comedy now. My name's Henry Riley, and I'm a stand-up comedian. Actually, sat and had a beer with Gary many times, and and not only is just such a funny person and such a down-to-earth person, but um, you can tell how much comedy means to him. You know, like there are some people who have like real passion for it, and uh, Gary is definitely one of those. You know, most most places in Camden's a memory for me. Yeah. I spent a lot of my time hanging about on the street and running. I didn't spend like time playing computer or playing football. We were out and about being shit cunts. <laughs> Sorry for my language. <laughs> Uh, I enjoyed to be the class clown in the whole place. I went to school pretty much to make people laugh and piss around. I was much, much better at being funny or bad in one of those two. <laughs> when I was in school, they pretty much pushed you into being a truck driver and stuff like that, do you know what I mean? So I didn't have much of a plan after school. It was just live, be alive. <laughs> I think selling out arenas and all that is not a good uh, option for me. But I'd like to be a club comedian travel maybe city to city, town to town, all around London, going club to club, performing in the clubs, that would be enough for me. I come from quite a council estate called Regent's Park Estate, and it's in Camden. And a lot of people there don't work, especially my age, and um, I didn't leave school with much, and a lot of people that are older than me and around me were making money off drugs and that, so I thought I'd apply my trade to that. I need you all to call me Gary Walsh, international drug smuggler. Because have a look, mate. Have a look what he's brought back from Dam. And in the crime world, a lot of people want to be funny. I know a lot of people think like, oh, they want to kill each other. But you, f you go to these places, everyone's trying to make each other laugh. The only thing is, if you try to make people laugh, you don't make them laugh. You've got to remember, these are criminals and some of them are off their heads. So, <laughs> you know what I mean? There's Escobar, El Chapo, Gary, mate. I'm up there with the top ones, mate. I'm up there with the dons. When I was young, I was very much prepared to run out all day and night. And then as I got older, I was like, this is just not for me the people you meet and also I got kidnapped so like <laughs> I think I pissed a few people off that was around Camden and then I went to meet someone one day and five people threw me in a van. <laughs> <laughs> Old time I was in the back of that van I was thinking go you don't want Mondays mate <laughs> <laughs> and then after a while they drove about for a bit and the van was a rental so to get rid of me so That, tell me Potter or not. <laughs> Gary Potter is Harry Potter's twin brother. Gary Potter got chucked out of Hogwarts for selling spells, drugs. Yeah! And it's Gary Potter. Lord of the Ones. Little freestyle for them. Hold tight of my Hogwarts man them. Hold tight of the Gryffindor man them. Yeah! Uh, I've just come back into the comedy game because recently I was out for about two months because I had a bad liver and spleen that I damaged from drinking. I've had quite a party lifestyle, and uh, especially when I was selling, I was out all the time. Like, I think my record, I've stayed up for six days without sleeping, just sniffing and drinking. And I've been doing that since I was about 16 or 18. And I think my body just said, no more, he can't have it no more. And um, I'm in the hospital now, and I've been taken there, and that's where I found out the extent of my injuries. So I had level four damage into my liver and spleen. And the doctor said you were that far away from having to take it out. So. And when they told me, they were like, fuck me. Well, they didn't say fuck me as a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was awful because the pain, I couldn't lay down or nothing. The pain itself was awful. And also because when it's happened, I had a succession of really good gigs set up. Just a load of good things I was going to do. And I had to cancel about two months worth of everything. Two months worth of life. I ain't an, I ain't an idiot. I know the warning signs. I know to stop. Just like the drugs, I know to stop, you see. <laughs> I've got quite a good friendship base now in the, especially the London stand-up scene. After many shows, we tend to go out for a few drinks after stuff like that. The drink and the drug abuse is something that a lot of us do suffer from, Gary especially. He knows that if comedy, if comedy doesn't work out, then that is his life. But he doesn't want that to be, no one wants that to be his life. So it gives him the drive to keep doing comedy and do it harder than anyone else does. You have to gig nearly every day of the week and sometimes two times a day. 
you have to travel up and down the country without any pay, without anything. And it's very difficult to do. Even the build up waiting to get on stage is better than getting on cocaine. To everything about comedy is better. And that's why it gave me such a drive because to fuck money, to get away from money and all that, just to go for this, this is more fulfilling. Because this is a, it's a haven for him. It's a world that he needs. Comedy is um, such an unbelievable release and such a great, yeah. such great vocation. I would never change what I've done. I like what I've become doing it. Yes, I have like traveling with it. I like making material, working out on stage. It's just it. the whole, this whole game is, the whole package is for me. And plus I like to drink, so. <laughs> He'll never quit. To stand in a room, talk shit for five, 10, 15 minutes and have people laugh and just be around good people. You can tell that that is what matters to Gary. Is anyone here working the job set? No. No? Fantastic. <laughs> 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 <laughs>